Hello everybody, this is another episode of Dominion Stuff by Jay Brayton. Um, this one is all about Elmaki's Nation Gen. It was brought up in the comments section of Moo's own LP, uh, which used Nation Gen. Um, the people wanted to know how it worked, so this is the uh, first page you'll see when you look for Nation Gen, probably, um, which is the releases page. You just get the latest one, it's no problem at all. Um, and then extract it using your extractor of choice. I like 7-zip, others may uh, prefer their own. Uh, get into the folder and then what you want is just to double click on nationgen.jar um, this relies on you having Java um, but you know it's not as bad as it once was um, but if you use Windows 10 you probably won't have it installed um, as it is so yes that is something to keep in mind um, and then here it is, uh, this is it. So the nation amount is the amount of nations you want to create in the specific mod that you're going to make, which is how the nation gen actually works. Um, so for a game like the one me and Murin, let's go for a nation amount 12. Um, you have the seed, which you don't want to trifle with uh, if you're just using it for the first time. Uh, mod name, let's call it um, MA uh, Feeling Fortunate. And then let's go to the more advanced options. So we have uh, advanced and basic descriptions. Um, these will typically um, give most generated units a somewhat um, helpful description for stuff like their magic leadership, um, if they have any. Uh, which often Dominions for base units don't, uh, but nation gen units actually sometimes do uh, on quite a lot of commanders. Um, and then the main option, which is really important, is um, hiding vanilla nations. Um, this is uh, important if you want a game which doesn't feature them at all. So if you just want a strict nation gen game, um, go ahead and use that. Uh, if you actually want to mix it up a bit, then um, yeah, flick it off, and then you can have you know MA Atlantis and MA Quidge Balbia or whatever um, that the nation gen will make, uh, slugging it out. And then the advanced options uh, is um, for stuff like Sacred Power, um, which is actually more about um, uh, stuff like Dark or Magic or Heat Power, more than natural raw um, strength of the Sacred created. And Era. Um, I think in general people quite like to use Middle Era for um, base games because uh, it has a much better um, uh, generation of random promises on a random map um, in terms of population and so on but if you want one that was more focused towards capitals by all means put it towards early and if you want one where the independence is going to be a bit harder but the promises are overall worth a bit more um, then go for late uh, it's simple as that uh, I don't believe Nation Gen still has the same issue that it once did where it was assigning uh, the wrong eras uh, but if it does, then when you open up the um, mod DM file, which I'll do um, after it's generated, uh, you can just go and search through and um, Control F or whatever your own OS's find um, thing is. Um, go era 1 and then change it to either 0 for early or 2 for late. Um, anyway, let's uh, get to it. Let's actually generate a nation. This is going to take uh, about a minute. Um, and it will eventually pop out in your mods folder here. Um, shouldn't shouldn't be too long. And then once that's done, you want to navigate to your own Dominions folder, uh, Dominions mods folder, which you can normally access through um, the main menu or if you have it set uh, on your own computer to show all the various hidden things that it's hidden in, uh, in under app data, uh, roaming. Uh, Dominions 4 and then mods, uh, just go to that and just paste it there. So let's go. Uh, I have mine pinned because I make mods myself. Um, my folder is remarkably full <laughs> as a result. Uh, but you just paste it, jobs are good. And then close it down. Let's go into Dominions itself, open up the mods. Let's go uh, this gen MA Feeling Fortunate. Uh, create a new game. Um, let's just go on Big Bad Pe Peaks, uh, BBA Fortunate, and we'll see the kind of things we've made. So we have uh, Omegia, 
Chalalia, Mergner, Patelko. Now these often correspond uh, in some respects to the um, uh, base, at least uh, human elements of the faction itself. Uh, so Patelko is quite likely to have uh, Mesoamerican um, aspects to it. Um, okay, let's just go random. Let's pick um, zero or why the hell not. <laughs> few of these, uh, see a nation description, so light infantry, bowmen, sacred heavy infantry, um, and they're Kalins apparently. So um, let's go for, uh, oh right, it's uh, one of these one of these wacky nations where it's uh, been assigned um, the, what they spuriously call imperial subtype, right, okay, and here we go, you're about to see the actual nation itself. So you can uh, always have a similar-ish expectation of stuff that's going to be in a nation. You will always have um, one scout, they may be a spy, they may well be an assassin as well. Um, then you have a commander who is okay. Um, they often have a 10 magic or under leadership. A regular commander who, um, well, it's not a normal type of commander, but it has a lot of leadership and pillage, I think, that said. Uh, high priest and some mages. This has got a surprisingly weak um, uh, priest for a nation gen nation. They typically have um, a holy two at least, if not holy three. And they often have things like elegist or inquisitor. And then we have a created um, leader of the sacred troops there, almost always the exact same, but just a commander version. Uh, and then outside of that we have a whole raft of fairly normal troops. Uh, this faction is, um, I would say, a lot more vanilla than you would often get um, with flying lances. It's basically just another version of Kalem. Um, but you will quite regularly uh, create nations with stuff like Amphitaire Cavalry or um, just a weird mix of stuff, Hobergs riding other guys, a lot of pale ones get created in my experience um, and they keep, they typically keep some of the um, same aspects of those original units but not always by any means um, and you get some interesting sites often, uh, I think we're going to have something weird in the foggy keep oh no it's just a recruitment thing, okay but often in nation gen um, you'll have things like uh, extended ritual range or scrying using your mages or um, you can enter them to gain combat experience that kind of stuff often gets generated alongside them 